welcome to my newest walkthrough for Inkman 900. It's going to be on Super Mario 3D Land for the 3DS. So, here is the beginning, Super Mario 3D Land. Let's open. Okay. Um, I'm pretty far in this game. I have not completed it fully. Um, but I just, I'm far enough to start my walk before it. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new file, which has already been created. And this is the beginning. Looks like some tanuki leaves are coming off of the tanuki tree. And those power-ups come into play later. Um, this is the normal tanuki suit. Which comes off of the tanuki statue, I guess. So anyways, all the tanuki leaves are gone, which apparently is devastating. So they walk over to this mail with a heart on it, which shows that Bowser has kidnapped Peach with Tanuki leaves. Okay. Um, this is very bad, so let's find out what is going on by going to World 1. Yep, um, he's gonna be sweating. And here's World 1-1. One, one. It starts you off the four lives for Super Mario 3D Land. Um, these controls are pretty basic. Not too hard. Um, here's your first time using Tanuki Suit, which means you can flutter, which is always nice. Here's what the bottom screen looks like. You can move around like that by pressing those arrows, and that's where you would hit the bottom. There's where you can see how many star coins you've collected. Here's your first one. I'll show you what it looks like when you get it, and that's what it looks like. So, now, once you get your first star coin, you're going to want to go over here, because this is where there's a secret little tunnel. You, you press um, Y or X to get rid of that tunnel, and you walk through the tunnel, and you get a secret one up that is hidden. You jump back up, and there's like a triple cube that if you hit it, you get three coins, which is always nice. So anyways, before I get the second star coin, I want to get the halfway point. Okay, so there. Um, climb up. Mess it up. And you want to press L to go down the tube. And now, what you would normally think is like, oh, then, yeah, that's what happens. So, you want to flutter up your ways up here. And then, you can see that the star coin is really out there. You can just flutter on over. Or you can jump by doing this. Then you'll probably get it. I know I didn't, but I already have the star coin, so on down the pipe. So so far we have two star coins. Mm, around 300 seconds left. Now I never realized this until much later, but here you can kill these tanuki things. But that's not what I was talking about. But here's what it is, and then also since I have two, I can now have that down in my stock. So just in case if I ever get hit, I can just use that. So what you want to do is just keep on doing that to go up this little thing to move that thing. Do that spinner thing. You can only move it if you have the tanuki suit. So that really helps if you have it. Well, it's like basically impossible if you don't have it. Okay, so what you want to do is what you can do is use that and then you can zoom in to see the toad. He's gonna miss. It's kinda hard to film 
and show you what he's doing. So yeah, he missed. So he's not going to be there when you go over there. I don't know why. Because you can't see him over there. It's kind of weird. He's like there, and like now he's not. But anyways, um, there's a little extra way how to get up there. If you just use that little cube, and you can bounce your way up there. And anyways, here's a third star coin. If you go up here, get those birds out, and then you do a double jump, and then you can get up there. Then you can go up here. Just in case if you haven't gotten the Tanuki suit already, you can get it there. And you can just run your way over, get to over here, and then you can just flutter across and get onto the flagpole for your first completed level. Now for this series, I'm going to be doing one level per video. So this is going to be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.